All right, hello there and welcome once again to another After Effects tutorial. And I just wanted to add a quick tip on a previous tutorial I did on time stretching. And in this one, we're gonna look at how you can actually adjust the speeds um, of your clip so that it will play back at different speeds as time progresses. Now to start off, you need to make sure that you have the stretch uh, pane open. And if you don't see this, all you have to do is go down here and then make sure that this button here is selected the expand or collapse in out duration stretch panes. So here we have a clip playing back. It's a drone shot, a very simple clip. It's going up and it's playing back at 100% stretch rate. But let's say we want to slow this down to 200. So half the speed, it goes slow. All right, nice. But let's say like right around here, we want it to uh, speed up. So how can we do this? Well, what you could do is you could simply split the layer. So press Command Shift D, it splits the layer. And then this next one, you can pull the stretch down to about, let's say 36. All right, so I'm pulling it back. We play it, it goes slow, speeds up. And then let's say like right around here, we want it to go normal at 100%. So what can we do? Well, we simply just press Command Shift D, splits the layer once more, and then we make this 100%. And then it plays back normal. So playing it all together now, slow, fast, normal. And then we'll pull this back just a little bit more, one more time. Now let's say we actually didn't like the way that um, the speed transitions were happening, what could we do? Well, instead of trying to figure it out here by messing with the top layer and uh, the bottom layer, all you do is simply delete the top layer, pull out this bottom one again, find where you want the transition to take place. So I want it to start a little bit quicker, so I'll start here. And then I press Command Shift D again, and then I make this one 100%. Play it back, slow, fast, normal. All right, awesome. Now let's say you wanted it to actually freeze it at a certain part, how would you do this? Well, we have this middle clip here and say we wanted it to play through and then we want it to freeze on the last frame before this next one uh, comes in. Well, what do you do? Well, what you would first do is delete this top one and then you're going to pull it out to the last frame that you want it to be on. So we'll stop it right about here. And then you right click on the clip and then you go up to time and then freeze on last frame. So now we have these two keyframes here and you now go to where you want it to be frozen onto. So we want it to be frozen from here to about here. Then we simply split the layer again, Command Shift D or Control Shift D if you're on a Windows. And then we open up this clip here, delete these keyframes here, and then all you have to do is go to your stretch and uh, pick the time that you want it to be at. So we can make this shorter. So we'll make it 13. So playing it back, we have this. Then it freezes and then it goes back. All right, so that is how you do speed ramping with the time stretch and we will see you on the next one. Until next time.